The Starburst Galaxy API enables you to automate tasks that are typically carried out through the user interface. There are various tools that you can use to make API requests, but in this video, I'm going to focus on using the curl command line tool. In particular, I will show you how to use curl to create an access token or bearer token, and then make a simple request to return a list of the clusters in my Galaxy account. Let's get started by navigating to the Galaxy API technical documentation, which is accessible directly from your Galaxy account. To get there, you just need to add forward slash public dash API to the end of your Galaxy account URL. You'll need to authenticate with your Galaxy credentials to access the documentation the first time. Let's take a closer look at the landing page, which gives information on how to create an access token. The first step listed here says to create an API authentication token, which I'll show you how to do right from the Galaxy UI. I'm going to open another window for my Galaxy UI to make it easier to switch back and forth. And to create the authentication token, I need to expand access control here on the left and then just click API authentication token. And then I'm going to generate a new token. The role that I'm going to be using for this is the account admin role. Then I can add a quick description. and then click the Create Token button. And now you can see that I have both a client ID and a secret key listed here. Now a word of warning, this is going to be the only time that you can actually copy the secret key. So you wanna make sure that you store it in a safe place uh, because if you lose it, then you're gonna to have to generate a new key. So I'm gonna copy and paste the client ID and secret key into my text editor. So I'll open up my text editor and I'll do client key. Okay, now that I've saved those, I'm gonna click the box here, and then I'm gonna click Save Token. So now that I have my authentication token, let's go back to the steps we're following in the technical documentation. Step two says that I need to use the API authentication token to obtain a temporary access token by post to the link listed, and then the request must have a basic authorization header with the client ID and secret base64 encoded in the form client ID colon client secret. The request body must be grant type client credentials. And then they give an example of what the code should look like down there. This is kind of confusing, so let's break this down a bit. It says that the client ID and secret have to be base64 encoded in the form client ID colon client secret. So let's take care of that first. I'm working on a Mac, so I'll be using the terminal window to run my commands. So let me open up my terminal window here. And then I'm gonna open my text editor again. Here's the command that I need to do the base64 encoding. Now I copied it and pasted it into my text editor. And the reason I did that is because I'm going to take this client ID colon client secret, and I'm gonna replace that with my actual client ID and client secret. So let's do the ID first, copy and paste, and then the secret. And now I can just take that entire command. Oops, I wanna get rid of that space there. So now I'm gonna take that entire command and I'm going to copy and paste it into my terminal window so that I can run it. Okay, and you can see what was returned here is what I was looking for. So I'm going to copy and paste that into my text editor as well. So now we're ready to run the curl command to get the access or bearer token. Once again, I'm gonna paste the basic command into my text editor and then replace certain generic information with my own. So let's go ahead and grab that command that I need. Okay, so I've pasted in my curl command here, and I'm just gonna get rid of these indentations so that I don't have any issues when I copy and paste the command to my terminal window. So I'll keep doing that. Okay, now there are two things that I need to replace in here. And the first is going to be this base64 client ID client secret. And I need to take everything, including the curly braces, and replace it with the output of my last command. So let's copy that. And then I'm going to carefully paste it in here. Then the other thing that I have to replace is in this link here, I need to replace account domain and the curly braces with my actual Galaxy account domain. And mine is erosas.galaxy.starburst.io. Okay, so now I'm going to copy this entire command and I'm going to put it in my terminal window and run it. 
Okay, and the output came back quickly. So you can see what I'm looking for here is the access token. This is written as a key value pair. So I've got access token here. The access token is everything that's in these quotes. So I'm going to copy all of that and I'm going to put it in my text editor. A word of warning, this token expires in 10 minutes. So if you wait to use it, you may have to run this command again to get another one. Luckily, there are ways to automate this process, which we'll show in later lessons. Okay, now that I have an access token, I can make an API request to list the clusters in my Galaxy account. But before I do that, let's take a look at the technical docs for guidance. So we'll go back to technical docs here. I want to click to expand cluster service. And what I'm looking for is get list cluster. Now this provides the parameters, the responses. Um, there's a lot of good information on this page. And it also provides the full endpoint URL, which I'm going to copy and paste into my text editor. And the way I do that is by clicking that button to expand. And then I can copy this here. So then let's go ahead and paste that back into my text editor. And now I'm going to put the full curl command that we can run to get the list of clusters. So I'm going to go grab that. Okay, so here's the full curl command. Once again, I'm going to just take away those indentations. And if you notice the second line here, I can replace this entire link with the one that I just copied from my technical documentation. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, and then the other thing that I have to replace in here is this access token, which is what I got after my last command. So I'm gonna paste everything in there. Okay, so now I think I'm ready to run this command. So I'm gonna copy the entire thing. And I will paste it into my terminal window. Okay, so it looks like 10 minutes hasn't gone by, so that's great, I did not get an error. Um, however, the output is not the prettiest to look at. It did return all of my clusters, but it's kind of difficult to read what's, what's being written here. There are different apps that you can use to reformat this JSON, and I'm going to show you one called the JSON Viewer website. So let's go over there. Okay. And then all I have to do is just copy this output, and then I can put it in there. I'm going to copy that output. And I will put it in here and then click the button. Okay, and now we have something that's a lot easier to read. So you can see that I'm given the cluster IDs, I'm given the name of my cluster, the cloud region. So there's a lot of good information in there. And that's all for this video. You should now have a better understanding of how to generate an access token, how to read the Galaxy Technical API documentation, and how to make a simple API request. Thanks for watching.